This is the declaration of taking over the leadership of South Sudan United Front Army staff and undertaking a home growth political dialogue with the revitalized transitional government of national unity, Artigono. Fellow citizens, after series of, of, after series of deliberation and careful consideration with the undersigned leaders and members of South Sudan United Front, Stock Army, SAF, recognize that there is no military solution to the crisis in South Sudan, and that is a sustainable peace can be achieved only through inclusive and political dialogue. We understand the need to take bold decision in the interest of national reconciliation that can guide the country to a new political di di dispensation and permanent constitutional order. We also recognize the importance of the prevailing historical papal visit to the Republic of South Sudan as a sign of a new beginning toward the realization of sustainable peace in our beloved country. Today, we acknowledge and reaffirm our commitment to the call for a peaceful coexistence by His Excellency President Selva Kirma Yadid in his message for the Christmas and New Year if when he reiterated that as people emerging from the conflict situation, we all need to support peace by shunning violence in all its form by choosing peaceful means to address our grievances whenever they arise. Consequently, with the undersigned leaders and members of the South Sudan United Front Army, today, in what we refer as the Nairobi Declaration, we would like to seize this golden opportunity to, to apprise the general public, predominantly South Sudanese at large, that from today, the 28th of January 2023, henceforth, we have taken over the leadership of South Sudan United Front Army, SAF, and agree enormously to dismiss General Paul Malongawan from the movement and opted to embrace the spirit of home growth political dialogue with the revitalized transitional government of national unity, Archie Gono, under the leadership of His Excellency, the President uh, Selfakir Mayadi. This timely decision was prompted by the following reason. Number one, General Malongawan has demonstrated incompetences and lack of vision. He does not have any clear strategy on how the crisis should be addressed in the Republic of South Sudan. And for that reason, today, on set, as the SAF, we have decided to move on with our political decision. From the onset of joining the SAF, we expected the movement to wage a total war or a total peace with the regime in Juba. But this has not this has not been the case. Comrade General Paul Malongawan has failed to, to reorganize the movement and the members feel frustrated due to lack of progress. He is running the movement single-handed with limited capacity. The imposed targeted sanction by the US, Canada, UK, and United Nations Security Council on General Paul Malongawan for his direct command over the private militia and expanding the conflict in 2013, 2014 in Republic of South Sudan has hindered our operation because of the travel ban and financial measures for years. Our former chairman could not travel freely and have access to the military commanders on the ground. Having said this, the South Sudan United Army is in urgent need for a new face with the new ideas and new energy to organize the movement as expected by the citizen. And today's declaration is a practical manifestation of a clear vision for South Sudan United Front, SAF. Fellow citizen, if things are not working out as expected, we can keep silent. And remember, silent is unacceptable. 
the political decision the political decision which act as a platform for opening our hearts to those who need us and walking away from the self-centered leaders like General Paul Malonga, one who does not have South Sudan at heart. We must have to start a new chapter without hesitation for change to happen. It needs our sacrifices and commitment as the citizens of the country. I know many people in this, in their hearts, are regretting the, the cessation of South Sudan from the north, due to the fact that we didn't have what we expected. However, we have to remain firm and keep hoping for a better change. This homegrown vision of the Rome Peace Initiative between the revitalized transitional government of national unity, Arti Gono, under the leadership of His Excellency President Salva Kiir Mayadi and South Sudan United from Nairobi Declaration is an opportunity for the voice of the whole out group to be heard. It required our collective responsibility as a South Sudanese to put to an end the discrimination, division, corruption, and tribalism for a better South Sudan. The new leadership of South Sudan United Front Army has decided to remain neutral, has decided not to remain neutral on the conflict in South Sudan and opted to contribute positively to a sustainable peace in our beloved country. We believe that sustainable peace can only be realized through embracing homegrown peace initiative. Today's declaration is a response to Pope's call for peace in South Sudan. And the ongoing initiative between the members of South Sudan United Front Army in Nairobi declaration with the government must be termed as a homegrown extension of Rome peace communique signed in Rome in August 2022, which would have made SAF to send its advance team to Juba one month after the signing of the cited Rome communique. With the group behind this ongoing home grown initiative, we believe that our chairman and CNC, General Paul Malonga, has failed to follow through with the implementation of the signed August 2022. Rome community, which could have seen our team going back to the country last September. And therefore, for the sake of peace in South Sudan, we have decided to translate the Rome Peace Initiative into the home, into a homegrown peace initiative. And we call upon our, our comrade in the struggle to join us on this political endeavor and work collectively toward the realization of sustainable solution for South Sudan. The future of South Sudan is uncertain at most, honing to the enormous political, economic, and security challenges, engulfing it on every front. This phenomenon required honest thinking from the us, from us, the citizen of the Republic of South Sudan, challenging like what's next after 24 months extension, how transition from revitalized period with all the parties involved into the government that delivered it is uh, legitimacy from the citizen, the rampant insecurity and communion violence between our civil population. All this needs serious thinking ahead before the cessation of the year of the two years extension. With this, with the people behind this political endeavor, we believe that in order to realize sustainable transition in our beloved country, we must overcome aforementioned challenge by all costs. Thank you very much, and may God bless South Sudan. Thank you.